guys, so today I'm gonna be doing cha-ching number 17 is what we are at. So that's super exciting. Um, we're just gonna go over everything that has sold um, recently in this video and I will try to mention prices that I paid um, with the things. I don't always remember so I won't always have a, a price that I paid on them. Um, so we're just gonna get started on to where we left off. The first thing was a dress by Lily Fermiana. I had purchased this at, um, I think a thrift store is where I got it. And it was purchased by a subscriber and it sold for $19.99. So if you are watching this video, I hope you loved that dress. It was so pretty. Uh, next we have a Fiesta Wear Utensil Croc. I purchased that at Goodwill. Um, it was the same day I purchased another Fiesta piece. It was a red gravy boat that hasn't sold yet. Uh, but the Croc went for $26.99. So that was awesome. I sold a little Gobel girl figurine. This was one of the items I took from a dollar table at a yard sale um, where I got a bunch of di just different little vintage items for a dollar a piece. And she sold for $9.99. So I think, oh goodness, in my last cha-ching I had sold a Gobel pin. So those were the two, I think only two Gobel things I had for sale. I did get an owl by Gobel at a yard sale at one point, but I decided to keep it. It's actually being displayed in my living room. Um, next was a bowl by Quimper, and I knew about this because um, Eric and I had seen a Quimper bowl at the auction one time, and that's kind of how we learned what Quimper was, essentially. So when I saw this, I knew right away what it was. I think I paid 50 cents for it, and it sold for $12.99. It did have a name on the front. I believe it was the name Daniel. So I don't know if maybe because it had a specific name on it, maybe that's why it didn't sell for as much, but I'm not sure. I'm still happy with the $12.99 I got since I didn't really pay much for it at all. Um, same yard sale, I got the next item, which was an Eldrith um, Salt Glaze uh, Church. This did have a, an imperfection on it, and it still sold for $12.99. There was also another Eldrith piece there that had an imperfection. I think it was a cow. I didn't get that one because I didn't know if they would sell with imperfections because I don't like to sell things that have chips and stuff like that. But I guess with Eldrith pottery, um, it doesn't necessarily matter if it has chips or maybe the church was just like a more rare item. I am unsure. Um, but that, that surprised me that it did sell because when I bought it, I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to sell. I kind of bought it just to kind of talk about um, the Eldrith pottery in my video when I did purchase it. So that was a happy sale. I sold a little trinket dish by Magpie. Um, this was still in the box. I think I paid a dollar for it at a yard sale and it sold for $13.50. I sold a pair of Nike Zoom sneakers is what I guess this was called, their um, style name. And they sold for $15.99. I think they were like for um, like a younger boy. I sold a dress by a company called Silence and Noise that sold for $9.99. I still have some clothing pieces that I'm just trying to get rid of that I have priced at $9.99. I have a lot of clothes priced at that and you guys know and I've been saying like when I am picking up clothes now I'm like more particular with what I'm picking up type of thing. Um, and some of those are in this video as far as being more particular and you'll see why when I say like what I what I sold those for as opposed to some of the the other items that I've had that just really aren't that great as far as resale. 
I sold a Precious Moments Anesco Camel. This would have gone to the Precious Moments a nativity set. This sold for $28.99, which is awesome. Um, Precious Moments is, I think, a lot of thing, a lot of things that people, especially resellers, kind of overlook and don't really look at so much. But definitely, um, some of them are worth a decent amount, so it's worth checking. Uh, definitely the nativity pieces. I sold a men's Baytic Bay shirt. These are called like camp shirts. I think I had a uh, cruise in my in my title as well. Just kind of like beachy type vibe I got from it. Um, that sold for $9.99. So again, uh, an item I was just trying to, to get rid of essentially. Um, I sold a Dogfish Head Brewery shirt. I've sold every single brewery shirt that I've purchased so far, and that one sold for $14.99. So it's definitely something that like I would keep my eye out for if I'm getting it at like a, a cheap price. I sold a La Regal purse. This was just kind of like a fancy little like evening bag type purse. It had belonged to my mom. And that sold for $12.99. I don't think it was like real vintage or anything like that, but it was a really pretty bag. Uh, a Monster High plush. This was of Frankie Stein. It was just a small little plush. I got it at a yard sale. I probably paid like a quarter, 50 cents for it. And I had it for a while. I didn't have it listed. Like I actually had kept it for myself because there was a point in time when I was really into um, collecting some of the Monster High dolls like when they first came out. Um, so I sold that for $9.99. I sold a pair of Fila bicycle shorts for $12.99. I had sold a pair of these same ones in a different color. They were in another Chiching video and I sold those, I think, for $9.99, but these ones were black, the other ones were gray. So I listed them just a little slightly more because I thought the color was a little um, nicer. Um, let's see, I sold a Pandora charm. This was a, a little ballet slipper for $14.99. I feel like that might have been a subscriber, but I can't remember. If there is ever a time where you know, I I sold something and it was from a subscriber and I forget to mention that. I apologize to you guys. I Sometimes, like, you know, it was a while since these things sold and I don't have it fresh in my memory as to <laughs> um, if it was a subscriber or not. But I th I'm kind of thinking that one did go to a subscriber. Uh, next was a Bart Simpson mesh trucker hat. This was an older... A uh, mesh trucker hat. It sold for $12.99. I like picking up the mesh trucker hat, especially the vintage ones. I think some do, you know, more well than others. I sold a Rose Gal top. I think Rose Gal is just kind of like an online kind of uh, boutique shop. I think I've seen their advertisements on Facebook, actually. Uh, this was a really pretty top. It sold for $16.99. All right, here was a good a good um, resell of a C.O. Bigelow perfume in the scent Orange Blossom. This one sold for $70.99, which was fantastic. I don't think that they uh, sell that fragrance anymore. That's why I love perfume so much. You guys see so far, like my sales, they just some of the some of the prices not so not so fantastic. And then as soon as you get to a perfume, boom, seventy dollars. I love perfume. Okay, next was a um, this was made in Japan. It was like the old lady that lived in a shoe kind of planter. Eric and I got this at the auction. I think we probably paid maybe a dollar or less for it. Um, it sold for $12.99. This one is an Eric Chiching. Um, you guys might remember, depending on how long you've been watching my videos, Eric had picked up a bunch of Picard China pieces at Goodwill and this one was a teapot. We still have some pieces for sale that haven't sold yet, but um, some have sold and they've sold for good money. 
So this one was a teapot and it sold for $58.99. So that was an awesome sale. <laughs> he was really like happy about that. Like he was like, oh yeah, I sold my teapot. So um, next was a Victoria's Secret perfume in the scent Such a Flirt. This one sold for $12.99. I sold a Jennifer Lopez uh, blouse to a subscriber for $10.99. So um, if you're watching this video, I hope you loved that top. Um, next was, you guys will remember seeing this was a little uh, framed print of Alfred's Alley in Philadelphia. I had purchased, yeah, I didn't purchase. I picked this up at a curb alert for free and it sold for $9.99. So considering I got it for free, that's awesome. Uh, let's see, next was a um, Bystol Halloween Mobile uh, decoration. This was brand new in the packaging. I think I paid 50 cents for it at a yard sale and it sold for $12.99. I sold a dress by Boston Proper for $9.99. Next was a Stampin' Up um, stamper set. Uh, this one was called Holiday Blitz. That sold for $12.99. I know Stampin' Up stampers used to be, like they used to have really good resale value like ages ago, but I I feel like they just don't sell as well as they used to. I don't know if maybe people just aren't using stampers as much or why the case of that is. So here's an instance of me trying to resell, um, be more particular with clothing items. I got this Title IX dress at Goodwill. It was kind of like an athletic dress, um, a golfing dress essentially. You know, something that you could wear and be comfortable in, like playing tennis or golfing and that kind of thing. Um, that sold for $29.99, which I thought was fantastic considering you see some of my other clothing items selling for like $9.99 uh, because it's, you know, clothing that doesn't really have such good resale value and I'm just trying to be more particular with clothes that I pick up. Um, next was a willow tree figure that Eric and I purchased at Goodwill went to a subscriber and I was asked if I could give a shout out. So I am going to give a shout out to Robbie as well as Megan. So thank you Megan for purchasing this. I think she had purchased it for her sister Robbie. So that was so sweet. I, oh, it just makes me so happy knowing that like, you know, we got something that someone saw and just, you know, loved it so much that they had to to purchase it. I think that's awesome and that's why I just love doing this kind of thing. I feel almost like I'm I'm a personal shopper, you know, kind of thing. Like I'm finding good deals and passing them along to other people. So that sold for $31 and because of that I started picking up other willow tree type figures. I just sold yesterday or maybe it was today. I think I packaged it up today, but I think it sold yesterday. I had purchased a little willow tree Christmas ornament at a yard sale for a quarter that just sold today. So that's definitely something that I will continue to kind of look out for in the future. I sold, this was from my personal collection. I am like a Lush fanatic and some of you know that um, because of my other YouTube channel. But I had an American Cream lotion and I love the American Cream scent. I have the perfume, but I just don't really use the lotions that I've purchased. So I decided to sell it and you know, you can't buy it anymore. And you know, a hardcore Lushy goes crazy for Lush products. Um, so it sold for $41 and a penny. <laughs> so that was awesome. I just sold Again, the other day I sold my Butterball lotion for a really good price as well. I, I am willing to part. I'm willing to part with some of my Lush collection, uh, but for the most part, um, as far as Lushies go, 
you probably don't stand much of a chance finding lush products at a yard sale or a thrift store or anything like that because we just love our our lush too much to actually just give it give it away so um that was a great sale for me i think because you know it's when it's something a part of your collection sometimes it's a little hard to get rid of but i'm glad that i did um, and I actually have three other Lush lotions that I am going to be listing. So if you're interested in Lush, um, I think I have a Yognog, a Sultana, and they're actually sitting right in front of me, a Honey I Wash the Kids lotion that I want to get listed up. Not ready to sell any of my perfumes yet, but... I'm all right with the lotions. Okay, next was an Ashley Cooper bracelet. This was really cool because um, it looked like a bracelet. You could wear it as a bracelet, but there was a hair elastic um, tucked into it. So it's like you, you were wearing your hair elastic on your wrist, but it actually looked like you were wearing a bracelet type of thing. Um, just made it look a little fancier, but that way you always had a hair elastic on you. So I thought that was just awesome. I got that at a yard sale, I think for a dollar. And I sold for $9.99. I sold a Takahashi little swan trinket dish. I mean, you could put soap in it, pretty much anything you wanted to. Uh, that sold for $14.99. I feel like I got that at a yard sale and probably paid like 50 cents for it. Um, I sold a, a top by Soft Surroundings. This was so pretty. I absolutely loved the beading detail around the neckline. It was one of those tops where I got and I was like, I'm keeping this. And then I tried it on. I was like, yeah, I don't like how it looks on me. Story of my life. I hate shopping for clothes. Anyway, the top sold for $18.99. Uh, this was also a good sale. This doll I purchased at the auction. I, I can't remember what I paid for it. I don't remember. I know it was less than $10. Uh, but it was called Malika and she was from Shindana Toys. And she sold for $89.99. So I thought that was a really good sale. I had had her for a while, but I just knew once the right buyer came along, would fall in love with her and purchase her, and they did. So um, I think I did, like, when I had her first purchase, or when I had her first listed, I think I had her listed for $99. So I did lower her price to $89. We sold that Jim Shore canister that we had just gotten pretty recently at Goodwill for $13.50. Last time I was at Goodwill, um, this was the day we weren't recording, Eric and I found a bunch of Jim Shore items new, new in the box essentially at Goodwill. I think they had $5.99 on all of them, which is a great price, especially if you're a collector of Jim Shore. But the resale prices on those weren't like super fantastic. They were more like the um, from the Heartland collection, which I think this one was as well. Um, they were all like snowmen and stuff like that. Um, for me, as far as like, there are some pieces of Jim Shore that I personally want like for myself that I know if I ever found them, I, I would have a hard time selling. So, <laughs> but I haven't come across any yet, so I don't have to worry about it yet. Um, next was, oh, that shoebox full of the vintage Christmas picks. It was Santa Clauses and snowmen. Some of them still had the plastic on. I had gotten those at a yard sale for the whole box for $2, I believe. And they, they sold for $37, which was awesome. That was a really nice sale. So definitely, if you ever come across vintage Christmas picks. Vintage Christmas in general, I think, tends to do well. Uh, next was a Roseville Pottery Crock. I think I got this for a dollar at a yard sale and it sold for $12.99. Um, I know when I had gotten that, I had gotten some other like pieces of uh, stoneware type of pottery uh, for a dollar a piece. I didn't really know a whole much about it. Um, so I was kind of just taking a chance since I was only gambling dollars, essentially. Um, so th that type of thing, like, you know, once I buy it and sell it, I kind of have an idea. So, like, you know, next time I see it, I can kind of 
hem and haul and be like, well, is it worth picking up? I only got $12.99 for the last piece. You know what I mean? And then just kind of decide from there. Uh, next was a brass camel bell I got for a dollar and it sold for $19.99. The dinging bell sound from this was superb. I loved the sound of it. <laughs> it just made the most perfect sound. Uh, next was a Banana Republic silk skirt. It retailed for, yeah, it retailed for, oh, it's this coffee that I'm drinking. It's got my mind all in, Anyway, it sold for $9.99, which surprised me because it was 100% silk. Um, but it just, I don't know. Resale value just was not there. I sold a, but then here we go, with a perfume, a half-empty bottle of Vintage Royal Secret Bath Perfume. Sold for $49.99. I also sold that Vintage Disney Epcot ashtray. I had got this at a yard sale. I think it was a quarter or 50 cents. I can't remember now, uh, but it sold for $24.99. And I know I think I said when I had purchased it, I had said in my video when I hauled it that it was disgusting. Like it had been used obviously and there was still like all these ash marks and stuff inside and it just looked absolutely disgusting. And you know, I cleaned it up and it looked so, you know, obviously so much better. And I think I had said, like, if you're selling something like that at a yard sale, just take the extra time to clean it. You could sell it for a little bit more that way. Like, they could have offered, like, they could have put, like, a dollar on it or something at that point. But regardless, I sold it for $24.99. And then the last thing that I have to share was an Avon perfume. This was in the scent Tahitian Holiday. It smelled fantastic. It smelled very tropical, very beachy, and that sold for $11.99. So that is everything for this cha-ching. I'm going to, I normally do like 40 some items. Um, kind of went through this one slightly fast. Um, I do apologize for that. I went a little bit fast on this one, but I still hope you guys enjoyed. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and let me know what is selling for you here lately. So hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.